I've got neon chromes. You guys know how I love chromes. Today I'm gonna do this beautiful design. It's actually rather easy. I created that with chromes and an e-file. It's not that hard. Let's get started. So there's nothing more that I love than nail mail. Well, guess what I got in the mail the other day? These beautiful samples from Beamy Beauty Box. I wanna thank Beamy for sponsoring this video and providing me with these beautiful neon colors and inspiring me for this design, which really isn't that hard. It's actually quite easy. Do you guys remember the video I did just recently where I did the clear overlay with the hybrid gel with the glitters in it? Well, I still have them on this hand. We're gonna work with that design underneath to show you how I'm gonna create this beautiful design in just a few easy steps. Look at those, they're exquisite. It's neon chrome. So I was playing with them a lot last night and trying to think of a really cool design to do this. Well, I know the design, the colors that I wanna work with because I just am tempted by all of it. It's so beautiful. Now, my opposite hand, I'm wearing the Beamy gels. See these? I'm wearing these two in particular, but look how beautiful they are. They're neon glitter. So. Mm, the color. So as you can see, I have a color design going and I decided to use this blue chrome on these three fingers and these two are going to be my accent. So I will tell you that when you're working with chrome, especially these amazing jewel colors like these kinds of things, even the pink, you want to lay down a black gel polish first because the jewel colors, these colors, even though it's neon, bounces and just jumps off that nail with great intensity. You can do it with white, and I really should probably do a video to compare the white. Sometimes it's very slight, and sometimes it's quite strong in the difference, but there is a difference, quite beautiful. So all we need to start with is a black base on the nail first, so this chrome will just pop. And I need my glasses, I can't do anything without that. Okay, so I'm gonna put these ones up here for a sec, because I am going to work with this color. We're gonna put this green color on. This design, you can see in those pictures, they're quite exquisite and it looks like there's a lot going on. There is, but it's actually easy to get that. So I'm gonna paint these two with the gel black polish. So there's some a little bit of black on there. I didn't take it all off because I knew I was doing this today. That was just from practicing last night. So I'm gonna give this two really nice solid black coats of gel polish. going to do a second coat. Okay, I got the two layers of base coat, which is the black in this case. It's gel polish. And the chrome wants to stick to this, not this. So you've got to finish it with a clear coat of gel. Chrome can be a little bit finicky because it is so fine, it'll show any bumps or little breaks in the polish or any little divot or any little thing like that. So when you apply your gel, apply it slowly so you don't have any voids or bubbles on the nails. And if you have any bubbles, you want to pop them if you can see them because the chrome will settle into it. So I always go quite slowly. And before I put it into the lamp, See, I can see some voids there. It's like streaky brush marks or bubbles. In this case, it's streaky brush marks. So I'm gonna put a little more on my brush so I don't get any of those streaks. And I'm gonna let it settle for a few seconds before I put it into the lamp because I want it to smooth over, which is what, I can see another one here, which is what gel top coat wants. It wants to be nice and smooth before we put the chrome on. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna let that settle. Sometimes the thicker the viscosity of the gel polish, it just needs a little more time to settle. When you give it that time, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna nuke that. Now for this, it is uh, three minutes, I believe. Let me just double check. Uh, two minutes for a UV and up to 60 seconds for an LED. So make sure it's thick enough. That's what I find with this particular. You wanna make sure it's thick enough to get a nice smooth coat on top. Okay, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's do the green one first. That's my accent finger. So use a fresh, they supply these with each one of these you buy. It's an eyeshadow applicator. I use a fresh one for each color. You just need a little bit on there. And I'm gonna move my fingers because I don't want to spill onto there quite yet. I'm gonna do this one green. But all you do is rub it in in circular motions. Look at this. <laughs> And I make sure I get it all around the sides too, because you don't want to see the black through it. Oh, that is exquisite. Isn't that gorgeous? It never gets old for me, this particular type of chrome in particular. I just never, never tire of it. Okay, so the next finger, I'm going to use this neon blue and I'm gonna bring in another color too. I'm gonna work with these ones. I think this is gonna be beautiful. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit of the green. get some of this light green. gonna put a little bit on the end of the green. This green is stunning. Okay, so you do want to get a little duster and take away all the dust because, all the chrome that is, because when you put the top coat on you don't want any little dust to get stuck in the top coat and pull it across because then it can bubble or be a little grain in there and it doesn't look very good for the finishing. Okay, now I'm gonna top coat them both. And again, you want to get back to that nice, strong, thick coat, but massage it in. Don't put it on too really, really fast. Just kind of let it flow on the nail. Give it a nice, strong coat. So I just let it settle a little bit, make sure that it's nice and happy. And then I'm going to nuke it for 60 seconds. Okay. Oh, look at that. You almost want to leave it. It looks like jewels. It is absolutely stunning. I almost just want to leave it the way it is. Maybe we should take a picture of this the way it is, Karen, man, before I get jakey with it. I don't want to disagree with you, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you know what? But if you want to stop and take pictures, no, I'll stop No, we're going to do a whole other video, I think, because they're too stunning. I'm just going to do another video.
Okay, so let me put these away before we start the next, because I'm gonna do some filing and I don't want any, any bits in there. Okay, this looks really complicated when you look at those photos, but it's actually quite easy. Here's the easy part. You just need an e-file. Turn it on, not that high. Have yourself a bit, almost any bit really. I'm gonna try this one and you just carve it out. I, I am gonna change the bit though. This one, it's a little fatter. I'm changing it because it's not like a little tube. I don't wanna make little holes. I wanna make sort of a little, well, you'll see. Okay, so it's kind of random. You just kind of do, but you gotta hold it long enough that you dig down to the original before the black layers. Okay, you wanna reveal those sparkles I had on there, right? right down to those sparkles. And I remember they were right in that spot. See, I hit them and I can see the black outline. I know it seems weird but it's really quite effective. Okay, that looks cool. I think I'm gonna leave it right there. Okay. That's what it looks like when you're taking gel polish off, right? But watch this. Now I'm gonna put the top coat on. Oh, I just noticed. I love this little thing. <laughs> Let's put the top coat on now again and watch it come to life. Okay, now I'm gonna put that top coat on it once again. See how it just brings the black outline to life. You can see the glitter that's on the previous nail that we were working on and the chrome just pops. Look at that is so cool. I see a little void spot for the gel. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to give that 60 seconds. We could check out the reveal. I was thinking about doing something on the accent finger, but maybe not. There's one more little thing we could do. Let's check it out. Now we'll try this. I'm not so sure if we'll love it, but let's try it. We'll see, we'll learn this together. I'm just taking a little bit of that chrome powder. I don't do this very often. I did it the other day and it was kind of cool. I'm just using this little black stand to hold the clear gel. And I, I nuked this, so if we don't like it, we can just wipe it right off. Just gonna take a little bit of the clear gel and I'm gonna dip it in the chrome and sort of pull it along there or anywhere. Dip it in there, dip it in here. It's almost like just highlighting. decided if I totally like it I I kind of do what do you guys think I think I'm gonna work with it I'm, I'm not a hundred percent but I yeah I think I'm gonna do it what do you think Carmen I like it Yep, it adds a little highlight. Yeah. But don't cover the little black edges. No, you're right. I don't want to cover those black edges. And just because I like something, I don't need to overdo it. I don't 
know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but I'm mixing a little bit of gel with the chrome powder on my lid here. And I'm gonna get a little jiggy and see if I like it, like on here. It's kinda neat. Oh, that's cool. I think yeah. that's great, I like that. Very unusual. Yeah. Yeah, if anything, it's unusual. I don't mean bad. No. It's good unusual. I could see the potential for this to be, like, you could do some really cool stuff with it. You know what I mean? You could do, like, really, maybe it'll inspire some more designs. I like it. I'm like drawing with chrome here. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna overdo it, right? Let's nuke it. Now, let's check out the reveal shots, okay? I want to thank Beamy Beauty Box for sending me the beautiful products, sponsoring this video, and inspiring this beautiful design. I loved it. Oh, hey, let's answer some questions. Okay, I've got my iPad and I'll read my questions over here. This is a great question by Claudia. I have a question, it's not about the video, but I need to know, I have long nails, so long natural nails, and I want to use gel nails. Can I don't cut my nails? Sorry for the English, it's not her first language, obviously. So she wants to know if she should cut her, not cut her nails before she puts any gel nails on. No, you don't have to. Uh, nail technicians, it's sort of um, if you want to or not, or if you're doing a DIY, you don't have to. If you're going to cut your nails and you wanna lengthen, you have to have some way to lengthen them. You may be a form or a tip or something you're using to lengthen it. But you don't have to cut them. If you leave them long, you just put the overlay right over top of your natural nails. It's actually quite beautiful. When we put a form on as a nail technician, we're just making an educated guess of how it's going to grow out. So if the natural is already there, you're good to go. Okay, Michelle asks, can you use 70% alcohol for cleanser? Yes, you can. 91%, 99% is just as long as you get it from a drugstore, you're good to go. Okay, let's go for another question. And this is from a Michelle as well. When is it too late for an acrylic refill? That's a great question. The reason why it's a good question is if your nails are falling off, breaking, cracking, especially along the stress point, it's time for a fill. If they're gonna grow off, obviously that's way too late, but you wanna catch it before that happens. Most people get fills between a three to five week period. So the average is about a four week fill. I have had clients that will go seven, eight weeks, but their nails might grow quite slow or they have very long nail beds, right? But when you're starting to get little stress cracks and it wants to lift a little or feeling a little uncomfortable, feeling a little long, you need to get them filled or at least shorten them right away till you can get in and get them filled. Okay, good question, Michelle. And our last question today is from Baby Hacker and she says, hi Susie, I wanna ask, can you use the same gel polish over an acrylic gel building, meaning building, build uh, nails. I want to know if acrylics need special gel polish. That's a really good question and I can see why that would be confusing. Nope, you can use gel polish over top of acrylic or over top of gel, it doesn't matter. You can use nail polish over top of acrylic or over top of gel, it doesn't matter. You can use gel polish on natural nails, acrylic nails, fiberglass nails, um, silk nails, whatever you're doing, you can use gel polish over top. It's not a problem. It actually wears very, very well, especially over the enhancements, okay? Well, thanks for joining me. Those are great questions. Thanks so much, guys, and I hope you had fun while I created this beautiful design. Thanks a lot, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.